Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today's project is a DIY lemon tree. This is, um, it was really easy to make. I did it with things that I had left over in my stash and there was really no hard part to it. So if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. I've got a terracotta pot and a matching saucer and this is four inches across. It doesn't have to be that big. It's just one that I had. So I've given it one good coat of um, white acrylic paint as a primer and um, I'm going to touch it up in a couple spots just because the original terracotta was really dark brown uh, and I don't want it showing through the yellow but then I have um, yellow flame and um, I'm going to give this at least two coats okay while well, this is drying uh, and it is almost completely dried and I've got uh, two coats of the yellow on that. Uh, I've got some of this Inca Gold metallic paint and that's folk art. And I've got a branch. And this branch I took off my lilac bush um, in the early spring. And what I'm going to do is do a little dry brushing. And I know I've shown dry brushing before, but for the new viewers, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm taking a brush, and getting the paint in the um, bristles at the end, and I'm going to take most of it off, and then just lightly paint over this and by dry brushing it gives a little hint of the color without being solid and I think you can see that right here like I said, it gives a hint of the color, but it doesn't get solid. Okay, I'm going to do this to all of the branches. And since so little paint is going on, this dries almost instantly. So when I'm done, I'll be back. Okay, now that this is dry, I'm going to put a piece of floral foam in there, and I got this from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to shove it down in there. Uh, this should be tight enough where I don't have to use any glue. Get the plastic off of it. I think I'm going to have to shave a little bit off the um, bottom here. And I've got a serrated knife, and this is the best thing in the world for cutting this stuff down. I mean, it, is, it just cuts through it like butter. And this is what we used to use um, when I did floral design. Okay, this is up just a little bit, so I'm going to mark it off. And hopefully, oh yeah, 
That fits nicely. Okay, I'm going to put this branch in the center. And that little tiny bit of gold gives it just enough highlight where it's going to stand out. Okay. I'm going to put a little moss on there since I dig that out of my stash. And I've got some rose leaves, silk rose leaves, that I'm going to be cutting up. Okay, I've got a ton of rose leaves cut out. And the reason I'm using rose leaves is because that's actually the closest in shape that I can find for a lemon tree. And I've got these lemons, and I got these at Walmart years ago. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut a piece of um, floral wire, uh, maybe two to three inches. Just bend it in half. And I'm going to poke it down in to these lemons. These lemons are styrofoam. Um, the Dollar Tree has them. Um, and I think Michaels and Joann's has them too. But they are just styrofoam. So this wire fits right in there. And once I get everything, um, all of these wired up, they're just going to hang on the branches and then of course once I get all of the lemons on I'm going to glue on some leaves behind and from the what I've seen on the pictures um, these leaves kind of hang around to them but not like a rose um, not like the three in a row that the roses have. So uh, I'm going to get busy putting the um, wire in all of these lemons and get them on and start gluing and we'll see how this turns out. Okay, I've got the lemons on and I'm getting ready to um, put the leaves on. And all I'm going to do is put a little dab of glue down here at the bottom and I'm going to glue this to the branch not to the lemons because uh, I'm going to take this apart eventually and I want to be able to save my lemons so uh, when I get this done I'll be back okay there it is all done and it was so easy to do and it's going to make a really nice centerpiece. And as nice as I like this this way, it doesn't have to be just a terracotta pot. And there it is in my glam yellow centerpiece. You definitely don't have to um, keep it in the terracotta. You can dress it up as much as you like. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and happy creating everyone.